In the 1990s came a breakthrough in gaming known as X-Band. As we all know, X-Band was the ancestor to modern gaming services such as Xbox Live, among others. It was basically a modem you would hook up to your gaming console, namely Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and Sega Saturn. X-Band was active up until sometime in 1997. Now to clarify the subject, I'm mainly talking about the Super Nintendo version of X-Band, so try to remember that. Anyway, since we know X-Band was such an early gaming service, we can obviously expect that it had some issues. Some obvious ones were lag, but there were other, more serious ones, mainly bugs that could be exploited to increase your player rank. If you do not know what I'm talking about, let me briefly explain. Lane. I will use the game Killer Instinct as an example, although this was not just prevalent in Killer Instinct alone. Normally, if you wanted your player rank and score to change, you would have to fight an opponent and either lose or win the fight. That would either increase or decrease your score. However, there is a bug that allows you to bypass this. You match up with a friend, win two matches, and the very moment you win the third match, your friend purposely disconnects. The result of that is that the game will drop, the modem attempts to reconnect, and after it fails at that, the game officially drops. Your friend who disconnected will not get any losses from it so x band will automatically reward you with the win. So all you had to do was keep doing this like crazy, and eventually you'd have a ridiculous score. This became a frequent thing on x band Now there was one player who was well known for this, and his name was Magnus Zor, also known as Magnus Deridian. I have nothing against him, but it's time YouTube knows the truth about him. He was a top ranking player in multiple games, including Killer Instinct, and had scores in the top 10 for other games as well. Now most people today won't remember x band well or even at all, and thus will look at his scores and think, damn, he must have been good. The truth is, he was not legit. Sorry, Magnus. You have to realize that to be just that damn good at one fighting game alone, you must dedicate a ridiculous amount of time to actually become a really good player. Then, you must also dedicate a lot of time to actually keep up that high rank by constantly playing the game. If you compare his score to most other top KI players, his score would be much, much higher. And yet he also manages to maintain super high scores in other games as well. This is extremely unlikely to pull off, playing hundreds and hundreds of players daily in multiple games, somehow being the best or among the best in all of them. If you were also, also to ask any of the other older x band players if they're still alive, they would tell you that some of the top players were people such as Mr. Wizard, Cybercrip, Lord Game God, Imagine, Destroyer, and a few others. They will also agree on one other thing, Magnus Zor was not a good player at all. All good players were in fact able to beat this guy quite easily. Now if you look at other great players in other games, they get respected and well known for their achievements and skill. So jealousy is in fact a poor excuse to hate Magnus, as he would be appreciated more than hated if he was actually any good. The facts are, that anyone who's ever played this guy will know he was not the best KI player as he claimed to be. But really, some guy who sat at home all day exploiting the trade wins bug. Sorry, man, but YouTube had to know. If you want to know one more thing, me, along with several other different YouTubers and former x banners actually commented on Magnus Deridian's videos, and he got angry and deleted all of our comments. His reasoning was that we were angry about something that is over a decade old, and that we're pissed off about beef in the past. Very poor reasoning. The truth is, we only felt it was necessary to expose the fraud and inform YouTubers on the facts. We really have no reason to hate him if he was actually any good. I mean, just look at all the love top level players get in other games. So why the hell would everyone have to hate on Magnus? Only because he was not a legit player. So there you have it YouTube. The truth about x and a large scale cheating that happened on it. Too bad it was never constantly being updated and improved like gaming services today. Otherwise people like Magnus would never have gotten some ridiculous scores without actually having to learn how to play.